On the 12th of January 1952, the people of Bransgore in Dorset were going about their daily business, unaware that a huge disaster was about to befall the sleepy little village. At approximately 3 o'clock, an aircraft took off from Hearn Airport on a top secret test flight. This aircraft was the Vickers Valiant, one of the special V bombers. Valiant, one of Britain's top secret aircraft, was becoming a familiar sight to the people of Christchurch and District since it had been undergoing trials from Hearn Airport. Almost everyone automatically looked skywards when the machine roared overhead and it was not to be wondered, therefore, that scores of people gazed in alarm when they saw it coming in from the sea with flames trailing from one wing. One witness told a local newspaper that the trail of flame got longer and longer and then the wing dropped off. Vickers' chief test pilot, who was in charge of the machine, he had radioed that the crew were bailing out. As the machine came over Hinton, people saw five men leap from the machine. Four of them got down safely by parachute, but the other, squadron leader Brian Foster, received multiple injuries and was pronounced dead when a doctor was arrived at the scene. An eyewitness to the crash, Dr. E. W. Dean, was standing in his garden in Mudderford when the machine went over in flames. He jumped into his car and drove to the scene. He had trouble even reaching the crew members because of the crowds of people blocking the road. Eventually he had to get into a police car. One of the crew landed in a tree and couldn't get down. He was shaken but was suffering more from cold as he had little layers of clothing on. The call for the fire brigades from Christchurch, Bournemouth, New Milton, Lymington and de Havilland's factory at Summerford was placed before the plane even crashed. Leading fireman Ron Bryant stated that they arrived within seven minutes. Parts of the plane were scattered over a wide area and kerosene was blazing fiercely. The scene of the crash was quickly cordoned off by the Air Ministry to stop people taking off parts of the top secret test plane. Many features of, of the Valiant were still highly secret and was nearing completion of its tests. In an official statement it was said that the aircraft suffered an accidental fire in one of the engine bays. Fortunately enough, testing had been completed and met Air Ministry requirements. Other members of the crew that got down safely were Mr. J. N. Montgomery of Christchurch, Mr. Prothero Thomas of Bournemouth, Mr. G. L. Holland of Bournemouth. The pilot, Mr. G. R. Bryce, also survived. Sadly, squadron leader Brian Foster lost his life in this disaster. It is thought that as he ejected, his seat may have struck the bomber's tail fin. This proved fatal. One witness to the crash was Sidney George Shuttler, a farm worker from Bransgore. He saw the burning aircraft fall to the ground and noticed the squadron leader hanging doubled up in his parachute and appeared unconscious. Another witness, a PC Fuller, saw the crash from Holmesley Railway Station, later saw the deceased on the ground and stated that he was unconscious. Within 24 hours of the crash, 70 to 80 Boy Scouts from Christchurch and District combed an area of two square miles near Hinton Admiral to search for pieces of the aircraft which crashed at Bransgore. Although this disaster was a sad loss of life, in hindsight it could have been much worse. So if you live in Bransgore or the surrounding areas and you're out for a stroll, keep your eye out for remnants of the aircraft 
and you may find your very own piece of history.